And he he hit the jackpot, literally. So then he bought the gas station. I'm just going on. I, I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like the 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 um God, I forgot his name. Always sunny in Philadelphia. The guy that's doing the that's me right now. That is me. I am doing that. Ah, why am I blurry? Blurry? Okay. Lucas, dude. There we go. <laughs> Let me try it again. It's humid here, like really humid. Not out, not in my house, outside. I walk outside, humidity. It is not a good thing for my hair, but it is what it is. It's what I have to deal with, okay? Until I can move somewhere where it's not so humid. Probably never, I don't know, I'm kind of stuck here for a little bit. We'll see, we'll see where my journey takes me, okay? Anyways, hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dachi and today we are continuing with Killer Frequency. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. I actually started following um, the voice actor for, for Snash. I know this dude doesn't know anything about me or even cares that I exist, but I just, I really fell in love with the guy's voice. And and that's the thing, like I love and appreciate voice actors. My best friend is a voice actor and you know, he, he, he tries to get me into the whole voice acting thing. I don't think I have a good voice guy, but just, that's just me. But you know, I do appreciate people with very beautiful voices. Mine is just weird. I just have a weird voice. It's, it's not super girly. It's not masculine. I don't have that sexy deep voice and I don't have that voice either so it's just it is what it is um anyways let's get to the game we have to figure out who the next person is is that is going to be the target we have a lot of options and we have a lot of wrong answers so yeah this is going to be interesting let's see what peggy has to say real quick how's it going uh, uh, it's not going well. No. I, I could use some help. <laughs> okay, let's review the basics. Okay. We need to work out who the next target is. Right. There's four locations, right? Four. And four people. Four we need people. to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. Okay. There must be some connections between the notes. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Great. Need any more help? Nope. No, I'm good. I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. No problem. So let's analyze. Let's analyze this. This is going to take me a hot minute, guys, to like really analyze everything. So I'm going to skip ahead to when I feel confident. So bear with me. All right. So four people. We got Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams, and Chuck Brody. We got the power station, the trailer park, the hospital, and the gas station. Former Gallows High football champion Chuck Brody suffered a career ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can get back on his feet, pun not intended. Drop tickets in the bucket below, thanks. Okay. So Brody was in this festival disaster. Festival disaster, big wheel breaks, free, 15 injured, who is to blame? Gallows Creek Harvest Festival closed early this year after tragedy struck only hours after opening. The big wheel broke free from its supports and rolled through town. An investigation is currently underway. Okay, we're gonna move Chuck Brody's stuff over here. Blue for thought. Local doctor Kay Walker, which is Kim Walker, recommends all locals get their flu shots ASAP. Flu season is upon us. 84 is no different to any other year. Make sure you are protected. Okay. 
Staff Surge at Power Station. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff in record hire, 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Was one of them Brody? Was one of them Brody? That's the question. Marriage announcement. We would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker. Okay, Kim Walker. Kim Walker and Peter Stein on the 30th of May, 1970. Okay, so that's part of Kim's. We'll put that there. Maybe Brody might be at the hospital. Okay, we're gonna put that there for now as like a maybe. Crime syndicate impounded. Crime operation shut down, 24 arrests. Inside informant walks free. Police have today finally put an end to the long running car thieving crime syndicate. The arrests were made after members gave up information on their co-conspirators to investigators. The informant, who was asked to remain anonymous and will hereafter be referred to as R.A., has walked free with no charges. R.A. Rebecca Allen. That was Rebecca Allen. So we are going to put Rebecca... Where's Rebecca's name? Rebecca Allen. R A like as if that didn't as if that didn't give her her away. They could have called her Victor, you know. All right, we're getting somewhere slowly. Justice for festival victims. The two-year investigation into the festival accident has concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted from the local power station. Local power station. All right. So we're going to put this over here with this. Okay. Okay. Power station. Put that over here. Power station. All right. All right. Back, back to what I was uh, reading. Okay. Local power station. Lead. <sighs> let me, let me get myself together. This is like. I feel like an investigator. This this is like sleuthing, right? I'm, I'm excited. Okay, let's get in it. <sighs> All right. Lead engineer, Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams. Okay, Aunt Williams. Where are you, Aunt? Aunt. Power station. Aunt Williams. Ah, get centered. Okay. Lead engineer, Aunt Williams, and junior engineer sean everett were distracted talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel which led to various construction mistakes they've been ordered to com do community service for a total of 1969 hours no just kidding all right what's this one what does that say beep beep look out tragedy Five dead, 16 injured after brake fails on bus. There's a lot of tragedies going on in, in Gallows Creek. I'll tell you what. Tragedy struck Gallows Creek yesterday afternoon after a bus failed to stop and crash into a fuel tanker. Gas station. Okay. Um, The deceased have been identified as Gallows Creek locals. Mr. D. Rudd, Mrs. M. Hewton, Mr. P. Stein, Mrs. K. Stein, and Mrs. J. Mildred. Police have asked for privacy for the families of the victims. The incident is not being treated as suspicious. Maybe? Maybe that goes with that? I'm not sure. Gallows Creek Game Day, Gallows Creek High versus... Quiet Ridge High. I'm not sure what this has to do with anything. Gallows Creek Real Estate, Saturday, March 22nd, 1986. Trailer for sale, cheap. 
Sale price $10,000. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town ASAP. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. All right, is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews, God rest his soul, warned citizens to look out for suspicious behavior after multiple car thieves. The crime wave of 70 will be stopped. I can assure you, we must work together to bring down this criminal organization. All right, so that goes with this one. 24 hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. Christine's gas and repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. The new owner claims it will keep me busy on an evening. He has asked to remain anonymous on an evening. I'm thinking that the lottery ticket I'm, I'm thinking it's Brody. Brody might have won that lottery. When was this? 19... But it's 14 years ago? Wait a second. Wait a second. Look at the dates. Festival disaster. 1969. 1972. 19... Wait a second. Oh, wait. Where's my phone? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. The ghost didn't like that I screamed. Let's let's do some math real quick. Cause I already know the answer, but I just want to double check. Festival disaster that happened in 1972. This lottery person uh, who bought the gas station bought it in 1986 minus 1972. 14 years ago, 14 years ago. That's Brody. That is Brody. That is Brody. Yep. And I'm pretty sure this is Brody. Yeah, that looks like Brody, right? Okay. Yeah. Game day, Gallows Creek High. And then the festival disaster happened and it ended his, his career and then several years later, in the 80s, 14 years later, he bought the gas station and he wants to remain anonymous. But what they failed to do was expose about the whole lottery ticket. But then again, like, here's this. This probably happened and people forgot about it and they were like, oh, like. Who could have the lottery person won? It was Brody. Brody was lucky. He was fortunate enough to get a winning lottery ticket. So after the disaster, they gifted him a bunch of lotteries and he he hit the jackpot, literally. So then he bought the gas station. I'm just going on. I, I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like the 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 um God, I forgot his name. Always sunny in Philadelphia. The guy that's doing the that's me right now. That is me. I am doing that. <laughs> I am that guy. What was his name? If you remember, or like if you've ever seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. Let me know because I totally forgot. And it's been years since I've seen It's Always Sunny. I used to love that show. This game is fun. I like this. I like being a detective. Okay, okay. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. We got to get all our ducks in a row. All right, so here's the final thing. Okay. Local legend takes to Manhattan. Okay. Infamous author of tell-all book, Diary of a Car Thief. That actually sounds like a pretty good book. Moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. She stole our cars. She stole our cars and then she stole our time and money. She, I guess it wasn't a very good book. Okay. Okay. This is Rebecca. This might be part of Rebecca, so we're going to put that over there. What is this? Did I read this one? I don't think I did. 1987, Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Okay. They're going to be there from Tuesday the 1st through Sunday the 6th of September. Do you care about health and safety? Good. Then come down to the yearly convention. 
get started in a career in health and safety. Learn about health and safety in the workplace. Featuring a special mystery guest, the lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster in 1972. They say you learn from your mistakes. Well, I turn mine into a career. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to count Rebecca out. Rebecca is out because Rebecca went to Manhattan. I'm not sure about this. I think that's just a distraction. What what day is it? Today is the 3rd. So, this is occurring Tuesday the 1st through Sunday the 6th of September. So this is happening right now. Okay, maybe it's not Brody. The only problem, the only problem I have with that is I don't know if that has any relation with Kim Walker. This happened the 30th of May, so that that's nothing. That's a nothing burger. I'm going to exclude Kim Walker and Rebecca. So those two are not the next target. It's either Brody or Ant. 1986. I'm thinking it's probably Ant because even though this says 19, 1986, that was a year ago. I'm thinking it's Ant because this is what's happening right now. Yeah. I'm going to go with Ant. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope that I'm not wrong because otherwise that sucks. It, that would really suck. I originally thought it was Brody, but this is what's making me think that it's going to be Ant. All right. How's it going? I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Let's do it. It's going to be Ant. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Ant Williams. And where will I find them? The power station. Maybe. Okay. I'm dialing. One moment. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm like second guessing myself. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but... They say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? What? Then who? Ah! Jesus! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? Oh. My. God. The call board. It... I... One moment. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Just let me... I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. <sighs> Peggy, what's happening in there? Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Peggy. I'm back. He blew up the gas station forest. Okay. The gas station. The fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And uh, the hospital's only ambulance was at the gas station. What? Forest, you. You've got to say something on the radio. You oh have to tell the town. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm putting us back on air. Now. Gallows Creek. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the gas station's been bombed. Please, everyone, stay safe, stay inside, and... Oh, just bring us into some music, Forrest? Why? No, there's no point. There's no point. I spent all that time trying to figure it out. I should have went with the gas station. It doesn't make sense. Oh no. It doesn't make sense. How does, how does this make any sense? It's clearly going to be this guy. This is happening right now. I'll play your favorite song. 
Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The Scream. I am so mad. I'm so mad. You okay? There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me? Me. Right? Yeah, uh, yep. me. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Oh, so maybe start God. with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Oh. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Hi. Yes. That is so upsetting. Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. Let me know if you figured that out. Am I just like, was I overthinking? I was probably overthinking, and I should have went with Brody. But why? Could it have been the other guy? Could it, could it have been Sean that was going to be the mystery guest? God. One free beer. Point that gallows high. Every oh no. Huh. Wow. Okay. It was Ponty's. It was Ponty's pizza. I thought about that the other day. I was wondering, I was like. There has to be the pizza box somewhere, right? I didn't look I didn't look hard enough. Clearly. I didn't look hard enough. But I did think about that after the fact. And I screwed up. I screwed up with that freaking Ew, what was that? A fly? I think that's a fly. I can't believe I Messed that up. Was it down here? I think it was. Not in there. Where was this place? It was down here, right? Janitor's closet? Yeah. Open. Alright, what am I looking for? Hmm. A key? Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Maybe? Or maybe not? What is up with these mannequins? They're pointing, so that one's pointing. Is there somebody out there? One's pointing that way. This one's not pointing at all. And that one's pointing up to him. That one's pointing that way. I'm guessing he's gonna be the next target. Okay. Does it open this door? Okay. Hey, Forrest! Peggy, give me some warning before yelling Holy at the intercom. Holy shite! Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. All right. Peggy, Peggy just gave me a freaking heart attack. What to do? There's still more. What? Okay, I guess I can't go in there yet. There's a map. Hmm.
Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Okay. So we got nothing so far. Big ol' nothing. There's a tape. There's a photo. And maybe a cassette player? Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Ah, okay. Let us... Let us play. George Ballow. 1968. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps. Find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. We need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. All right, well, that is going to be our next mission. So, I'm still really disappointed that I did not save the gas station. I thought, I thought I had it all figured out, but clearly I am not as good of a investigator as I had hoped I was, so. Yeah, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boops. Boop. Okay, bye.